Submit is one of the most abusive word in the Israelite culture. Women hate the word submit and men love to abuse the word. What was the Most High implying when he commanded the women to submit to their husband? The Most High gave his people instruction on how the family was to operate. The children submit to their parents. The woman submit to her husband. The men submit to Yahshua. Yahshua submit to the father and the father is above all. This is how the family unit is to operate. Everyone has to submit to the one above them. Even the angels must submit to the higher ranking angels above them. In order for Satan to gain control of the world, he had to disrupt the family. Through role reversal, Satan gained control over the family. Satan made the woman the man and the man the woman. When Satan spoke to Eve and convinced her to eat of the tree, that is when the role reversal occurred. Yah gave Adam instructions on how to manage the garden. Adam allowed his wife to speak to Satan. Not only did he allow the serpent to speak to his wife, he participated in the act with his wife and ignored the instructions the Most High gave him. Because Adam did not do what he was supposed to do, which is lead his wife, all of us are in the conditions we are in today. If Adam would have stand firm and not allow the serpent to speak to his wife and obey the Most High, things would have been different for humanity. Before Satan can do anything, you must give him permission. Adam gave Satan permission by being passive and not correcting the threat from the beginning. Today, men give Satan permission to run their house when they give up on their family, when they refuse to take their leadership role, and abandoning their family. Satan has control over your house. He delegated the leadership role to your wife and gave you the woman's role. By doing this, both the man and the woman is in disobedience. That is sin. Where there is sin, the Most High will not be there. Sin separate you from the Most High. Now do you understand why the black family is failing? Yah is not there. If Satan can keep you in sin, he will reign in your life. Today, we have a generation of men wanting women to submit to them, and they have no idea what it means to lead a household, nor do they know how to submit. The first thing the men need to understand, the Most High made you the head of a woman, your wife, not all women, one woman. Men these days believe they have the authority to control every woman they see as if she's supposed to bow down to you regardless if she's your wife. She is somebody else's wife. If she is single, she's supposed to submit to her parents and the Most High. The requirement for a woman to submit is in a husband and wife relationship. We have plenty of single men wanting their girlfriends, baby mother, mistress, and side chicks to submit. You are out of order. If the woman you are with is not your wife, do not try to bully her to submit to you. She is not required to submit to you. When she becomes your wife, now you have the leadership authority over her. Until then, you have no right to force her into submission. You are abusing the word of Yah to cause this woman to sin. If you do not believe in the word of Yah and you are not a spiritual person, why you are using Yah's word to control a woman? Submission is a Hebrew custom Yah gave his people the Israelites to follow. If you do not believe, this practice is not for you to observe. Today, we have frustrated Israelite men wanting to gain control of their home. They are physically and mentally abusing their wives into submission, while others give up. Black man, the first thing you must do to regain control of your home is submit to your head. Submission works both ways. You cannot rebel against Yah and expect your wife to submit to you. As the leader, you are supposed to model the behavior you expect in your home. If you do not have standards for your household, everyone will do what he or she want. You are crying out that you want your wife to follow you. The Most High is asking you to follow Him. Disobedience is sin. The Most High will not participate in your sins. You want to gain control of your home independently of Yah. You will fail every time. You need the Most High to gain control of your home. That is why it is important for you to submit to your head. The Most High said it's better for you to obey than to sacrifice. We are exiled from our homeland because of disobedience. Do you believe the Most High will let his daughters submit to undisciplined men? A man that is in sin? Majority of black men have a generalized view of the black woman. You have to get rid of that mentality. Not all women are disobedient and have an attitude. In addition, you have to stop playing the victim as if you are innocent. If you are not submitting to your head, you are in sin.
Therefore, the Most High will let the enemy run your house until you get in line. The next thing you need to know is who is your opponent? Who are you battling to regain control? Your wife is not the one who stripped you of your leadership crown. Satan is your opponent, and he's the one who deceived you into giving him control of your home. Yah said we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. You are battling your wife for power when you are supposed to fight your opponent, Satan. The only way you will win the battle against Satan is if you know the word of Yah. In order for you to know the word of Yah, you must submit to your head and follow his instructions. Once you submit and follow instructions, now you possess the authority you need to tell Satan to get out of your house. The Father will grant you whatever you ask in the Messiah's name. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. Very truly, I tell you, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Once you humble yourself and follow Yahshua, you now have the Father on your side. The Father will give you the help you need. The Most High will send the angels to fight on your behalf. Satan is a spirit and dwell in the spiritual realm. You cannot go to the spiritual realm to fight the devil. You need a spirit to fight another spirit. The angels are in the spiritual realm. Once the Most High give the angels permission to deliver you, the angels will fight the demons on your behalf. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. The Most High will cleanse your home from the demons that plague your house, not you, the Father. This is why you cannot fight Satan independently of Yah. You need the angels to fight Satan. Satan is a fallen angel. The angels act only on Yah's command. Do you think I cannot call on my father? And he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legions of angels. The problems that plague your household is Satan and his demons. Once you gave Satan permission, he sent his demons to torment you. The problems with your home had nothing to do with your wife. Stop blaming her and saying she is the cause. Satan made you believe she is your problem when Satan is your problem. Majority of you do not know the role of your wife. Many of you believe she's supposed to take care of the home, raise your kids, and a sex object without a word. She's not supposed to have desires. She should be silent. The Most High did not make your wife a robot nor your servant. She is your partner ordained to help you. When you refuse to listen to her, you are rejecting the help the Most High gave you. If you do not want help from your wife, you are saying to the Most High you do not want a wife. When the Most High made Adam, he said it is not good for men to be alone. I will make a helpmate compatible to him. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. If you believe you do not need help from a woman, then you should be abstinent and single for the rest of your life because a wife is a helpmate. Since you seek a wife, you are asking that woman for help. Now that you have help, stop rejecting the help that was given to you. Sometimes the Most High will give your wife the answer to your problem. If you dismiss her and refuse to listen to her, you will never receive the solution to that problem. If your wife is nagging you or she has an attitude, it is your duty as the leader to find out what is wrong and fix the problem. Most women have an attitude because one or more of her needs are not being met. The result of her nagging stems from your lack of interest in helping her solve the problems in her life. If she stopped nagging you, you should be very, very, very concerned. This could mean she is no longer in love with you and she found someone else to fix her problems. I hope this clear up the nagging and attitude problems you complain about in your relationships. A woman's submission to legitimate leadership is necessary. Yes, the wife must submit to her husband when he is submitted to his head and following the Most High's instructions for the family. Husbands, I want you to know that you do not have absolute authority over your wife. Submission is no longer required when the husband is causing the wife to sin against Yah. 
An example, if you are leading your family into idolatry or dismissing Yah's laws, causing your wife to sin, she is no longer required to submit to you and follow your lead. The Most High have the final say. She is to obey Yah over her husband. Wives, if your husbands fall into sin, it is your duty to pray for your husband so that the Most High intervene and get him back on track. This is not the time to become verbally abusive and disrespectful. Satan has infiltrated your household and if you want your family back, you have to pray. Wives, if your husband is not causing you to sin against Yah and he is doing what he's supposed to do, you are required to submit and be a good helpmate to your husband. It is your responsibility as their helpmate to make sure they succeed. You must encourage, strengthen your man when he feels discouraged and defeated by the hands of Satan in society. In conclusion, submission is required by both the man and the woman in order for the black family to succeed. We can stop blaming each other and start following Yah's instructions on how the family is to operate. When we pick up the prescription, Yah's instructions, and take the medicine, applying his instructions, then we will heal as a family. Do not worry about everybody else's household. Focus on your household. By doing this, you will make a difference in our nation. Once the household is healed, the communities will improve. When our communities improve, then our people will succeed.